Welcome to another video. I'm Elisa and I'm converting my 2021 RAM Pro Master. Today I will be installing Killmat sound deadening sheets on the walls, the ceiling and the floor. These sheets are supposed to help reduce the sound that comes into the van and out of the van. They say just covering about 25% of the van is enough. However, I will completely cover the wheel wells because this is where a lot of the sound is produced in here. But before getting started, I have to move a lot of the stuff that is in here. I have some plywood sheets and just a bunch of stuff that needs to get out of the van so that I can clean the van first and then start applying these sheets. So let's get started. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, another day and I'm back because I didn't finish this yesterday. It's a lot of, I wouldn't say it's a lot of work, but it takes a lot of time. It's time consuming. It's a slow process. So I still have to finish this one here and then the walls, the ceiling, everything basically. I didn't really get too much done yesterday. Um, it actually took me a long time to clean this floor, mostly because when I painted this floor with Rust-Oleum a while ago, I used a flat finish. And what happens with flat finishes is that they are more porous and more textured. So dirt and dust have a larger surface area to attach to. Now looking back, I should have used a satin semi-gloss or gloss finish to prevent that from happening. I'm not gonna say next time because I'm probably not doing this again, but if you're watching, learn from my mistakes. For the rest of the van, the furniture, the walls, for all of that, I'm definitely not using a flat finish. Even though it looks good, it just gets dirty too easily and it's hard to clean. So I'm gonna finish this. It just takes a long time because of the rolling. You have to really roll it to make sure that it's attached properly and it works the way it's supposed to. Some people don't even do this. There are different opinions out there. Some people say it's necessary and it helps. Some people say it doesn't really do much. This box was about $50 on Amazon, so it's not really that expensive. And if it helps just a little bit, I think it's worth it. So I'm gonna continue doing it when I'm in here, even though it's not finished and I don't have any furniture or anything in here, it feels very cozy. I love my van. More working, less talking. Oh no. I sat on a piece of kill mat. How did I do that? Okay, so don't do this. It's like asphalt and it's this very sticky. Nasty. Don't sit on it. Oof. Done with the walls and the ceiling. Now just the floor. The floor should be easy. These are pretty easy to cut. Oh, let me turn this music off. I'm gonna get demonetized. I was gonna say, oh shoot, I got this on my pants and now I sat on this floor. I guess I can just sit on one of these, protect the floor from, the, from my butt. Okay, yeah, so what I was saying is that these are really easy to cut with scissors. <laughs> Ignore what I just said. Look, I, I did cut my finger, but um, other than that, it's great. So yeah, be careful maybe. It's okay, my finger doesn't even hurt. I was thinking I'm probably going to put my heater right here under my bench. I see people installing them here or right here or sometimes even under the passenger seat. I wanted to put a little bit more of this on the floor, but I ran out. I used a whole box for the entire van. I think it'll be fine though, because I'm using um, pretty thick plywood, quarter inch plywood for my subfloor and insulation also. After installing the sound deadening sheets, I measured and cut the one by two cedar strips 
I'm doing this to create a good base for the plywood sheets that will go on top. I'm using cedar wood because it's light, it has a natural resistance to moisture and rot, and it also naturally repels many types of insects and termites. I spent some time figuring out the best places to put these strips on the floor, then I marked them so I would know where each one goes after I paint them. This step is all about getting ready to build a strong and reliable floor for my van. I painted the strips with Bullseye 123. This paint is supposed to help stop mold, mildew, and rust. Some might think that it's too much, but it's just a few extra steps, so why not do it? Okay, Vanessa's doing the same thing we're doing now. What is she doing? Just painting her room. Okay, the next day, I have my little diagram here. After the paint dried, I glued each strip to the van floor with construction adhesive. This sticks really well. I then placed some bricks and other random heavy objects on top to make sure that they stayed in place and left it to dry all night. The construction adhesive that I used is super strong. I cannot move these at all. They are glued forever. And what I like about this is that if you look over here, you can see that there's going to be a lot of airflow. The next day, it was time to focus on insulation. I used three quarter inch polypro insulation panels. I cut these panels into smaller pieces so that they fit just right between the one by two strips on the floor. I went with polypro insulation in the van floor because it's easy to work with and it doesn't absorb moisture. For the rest of the van, I plan on using M3 thin Solid. It's on. I did it out like shoe. Yeah, so here, you want to talk about what we're doing? Show them. Uh. So here, this piece is the problem. You want to get this Thanks in here, huh? So we have to cut it, I guess. Yeah. You fix this one as well. Yeah. Why didn't you just copy that one? That one was a little bit smaller. So I had to make a new one. So what do you think about my insulation? Yep. You did a good job. I just, where are you going to put like the bed and stuff this, where Bunny's going to sleep? Right here. Right there? Yep. And you're going to enter from there? Uh, or from here? No, from the front. You're going to have like a kitchen, you said? Yeah, the kitchen is going to be right there. A tiny kitchen. Whoa, that's right a tiny kitchen. The smallest What's kitchen? What's going to be over there? The bathroom, the shower and the toilet, and then a, a little bench with a yeah. lagoon table. It's a lagoon table? A lagoon table is a table that you can move around. Oh. After cutting the polypro insulation to fit, I completed the floor insulation by adding Reflectix tape to the wood strips. I don't know if this is going to do much, but I had it, so... Might as well use it. For the subfloor, I chose 3 quarter inch birch plywood. It's durable and resistant to warping. Luckily, my van came with a rubber mat, which I used to trace the plywood before cutting it with a jigsaw. After a few little adjustments, it fit perfectly in the van. Yeah, there's a little gap here, but this um, will be fine. It will be hidden under the water tank. 
this was the harder piece here around the wheel wells for sure. Just like I did with the framing strips, I also painted the plywood with bullseye one, two, three to prevent mold and rust. It looks so pretty painted white like this, but you'll never see this once it's all done. I still have to go get some of the vinyl planks. I'm so happy with how this turned out. This floor looks and feels amazing. It already makes this van feel more, more like a little, a little house and less like a van. Um, and it's not even finished yet. I still need to screw these planks in and then do the, the vinyl just to, to finish it. And once I do that, it's gonna look even better and feel even better. Here we are drilling pilot holes and then screwing the plywood down to the one by two strips using one and one quarter inch stainless steel screws. In the description, I'm going to leave a detailed list of all the tools and materials I used in this video. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.